And okay, so that's just LSD and psilocybin. There's people microdosing a boga, ayahuasca vine, all sorts of things. And and why? Um, is it just psychological? Is it a spiritual thing? For some of them, it is. For some people, they're doing mini doses of a boga just to do more work in the fields. You know, like it's a traditional use or be a better hunter, have more energy hunting. Um, people are microdosing for other reasons, like regrowing brain cells, like neurogenesis and you know, synaptogenesis, all this fun stuff. But is there any real evidence that rules of evidence are a funny thing, obviously, but is there any evidence that just because you're doing neurogenesis, synaptogenesis, whatever, or dendritic arborization is a new term I just learned recently. I'm like, cool. Good one. But is there real impact in how the brain is functioning beyond purely a psychological measure? Um, and, and what kind of measurement tools would, would we need to look at to, to pull those out? So I think, you know, my, my general position is that it's too early to say what it's going to do, but it's a cheap, relatively safe experiment. Um, and, you know, it's, it's certainly safer than taking a whole hit of acid or 3.5 to 5 grams of mushrooms. Certainly safer. So as an entryway, I, th I think it's a good gateway into the psychedelic landscape, though. Let's not fetishize it and let's try to not lie to ourselves and others about it. Like we don't really know. So if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, not a big deal. You're not broken. 